is to prove the converse of Euclid's fifth axiom, uh, the postulate, the Euclidean parallel postulate. So Euclid 5 formally is a if-then statement, a uh, implication that says if two lines are intersected by a transversal in such a way that for two interior angles on one side of the transversal we have that one of these angles is less than the supplement of the other angle, then the two lines meet on that side of the transversal. So in the little diagram up here it's like saying that if you had these two angles right here that are interior uh, and they sum to be less than 180, then the lines themselves must intersect eventually. The lines are going to have to intersect and they'll intersect on that side of the transversal. Okay, so what is the converse of this going to be? Well, the converse of course reverses the uh, antecedent and the consequent, so our uh, new statement, the Euclid 5 converse, would be if two lines intersect on one side of a transversal, then what's going to happen? Well, then the interior angles on that side of the transversal of the transversal must be less than 180. Transversal must be less than one being the supplement of the other, which means that they must be less than 180 degrees. Okay, so that's really what we're trying to show here. Essentially, if two lines intersect on one side of a transversal, this is kind of like saying that we have a triangle, isn't it? Right, Because we have a lines and we have a transversal, and these do intersect, so it's like saying we have a triangle here, and all it's really trying to say is that these two angles over here, if we have a triangle, then the two angles over here that are remote from that intersection point must sum to be less than 180. So, let's see if we can do this in neutral geometry. So, if two lines meet on one side of a transversal, the angles on that side of tr the transversal are less than 180 degrees. In neutral geometry, Okay, well, first let's suppose the antecedent. Suppose we have two lines meeting on one side of a transversal. On one side of a transversal. Then, by definition, what do we have here? Well, we have that transversal, wherever it is, across two lines, and they are intersecting at a point over here, so we actually are getting a triangle. So by definition, we have a triangle. Now, by corollary 2, corollary 2, to the exterior angle theorem, we know that any two, the sum of the sum of any two angles in a triangle is less than 180 degrees. And what did we want to show? We wanted to show that, in particular, the angles on the transversal are less than 180 degrees, that they sum to be less than 180 degrees. But, of course, what the corollary 2 there says is that any two sum to be less than 180, so we get what we want, and that's the end of the proof.